Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, everyone. Today we are going to continue about the principal component analysis, which in the previous video we share with you on how to uh, use the Excel step uh, to perform the analysis of principal component analysis. Okay, so this is. Uh, our data previously so we have a mcdonald sample we, where we call it mcdonald's uh, menu okay so from this mcdonald me uh, menu we have uh, five variables or five parameter of food composition for each of the menu and from this menu we are going to examine the <coughs> relationship between the variables and which menu uh, having the highest uh, carbohydrates or the lowest fat or the having both energy and uh, fat level the highest uh, energy and fat level yeah so on and so forth so from your principal component analysis results you will get at the first part is the summary statistic okay so i just show you here uh, let me change this one Okay, it's quite long. Okay, okay. Oh, never mind. We can go this way. Okay, so you have your variable here on this left side, and then the observation, which means the number of samples that you have, and any observation with missing data, and then any observation without missing data, definitely no. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> minimum amount or the minimum uh, value for each of these variable so for example we have energy the lowest um, food or menu which having uh, the lowest energy uh, the value is 6.84 the maximum value is 12.24 and the mean and also the standard deviation so all these five variables uh, these summary statistic have been uh, disclosed here okay okay after uh, we have discussed about the uh, summary statistic we'll move forward to correlation matrix so what we have here correlation matrix is uh, 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 evaluated uh, to identify is there any correlation between variable okay so for example we see the energy versus energy the correlation matrix is one yeah definitely it's one because energy and energy is the same uh, variable however we can see energy versus protein we can get 0 0.1793 energy versus carbohydrate which is higher than that 0 0.3 and, and then energy versus fat 0 0.8 which is the highest one and then energy versus saturated fat is 0 0.18 okay so from this result we can say that in terms of correlation energy versus fat having the highest correlation followed by carbohydrate followed by saturated fat and the last one followed by protein which means if you have a high fat you will also have a high energy okay so this positive value indicate uh, it, it is proportional having higher fat meaning that that food having a high energy okay you can see another example if we can uh, examine on carbohydrate versus protein where we can get the value is negative 0 0.7 which is the correlation is strong okay is quite high because uh, 0 0.7 the good or the best uh, correlation is one yeah uh, the near nearer the, the correlation uh, matrix to one indicate that uh, the better correlation however when the correlation has a, a, a negative value it means that uh, the correlation between the variables are inversely are inversely proportional which means if you have a higher protein you will uh, you will have a lower carbohydrate okay so and vice versa having uh, those food that uh, has high carbohydrate will has a lower protein in this case of our uh, mcdonald's uh, menu okay so and then to support this result of uh, correlation matrix we have here ballots uh, sparsity test
So we have the bullet sparsity test where this bullet sparsity test will confirm your correlation matrix. Okay, when we uh, say about when we discuss about uh, any test statistical test so this test should has two hypotheses the first one is we call it a uh, null hypothesis the second one uh, is the alternative uh, hypothesis which is uh, the alternative hypothesis is uh, uh, contradicts the null hypothesis so for null hypothesis in this bullet uh, sparsity test there is no correlation significantly different from zero between the variables which means uh, between two variables there is no correlation okay and the alternative hypothesis at least one of the correlations between the variable is significantly different from zero which means these um, at least uh, the the between the two the two variables there is a correlation which is already confirmed uh, from our examination on our correlation matrix okay so this bullet test will confirm your uh, uh, correlation matrix okay and then to confirm that you have to calculate the p-value okay so in this case the p-value that we uh, managed to calculate okay so we'll get less than 0 0.001 which is very low and then the alpha that we set is 0 0.05 okay since the p value is lower than 0 0.05 the one that we set okay the significant uh, level we should reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis which is supporting our uh, correlation matrix before there is at least one correlation between the variable so in this case if we see again a strong correlation uh, exists or presence uh, between fat and energy and as well as protein and carbohydrates okay so to remind again the best correlation is any correlation uh, matrix value which is nearer to uh, one uh, value one okay so thank you very much we will discuss later about the principal component analysis in the next video assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh